Hey, I'm here to talk to you about Utility Buddy. Utility Buddy is a bulk product, well, a bulk redoing things product that I've invented to help speed up production if you're undo if you're uh, trying to work on a project that got somewhere and you need to change out all the fonts or you know need to replace a an effect or anything like that. And this is a dockable panel, so we'll just dock it right in here. Um, each one of these is a tab for the different kinds of things it can do. Now under fonts, so there's a refresh button at the top of these, so just in case you happen to come from a different project or you change something else and it doesn't know what you have done, it can now help you get, you know, refresh out what the information is. So. Say we wanted to take this font and we we're like, okay, well, uh, I need to replace it on every layer. Or I just want to know where it is. You can find that layer by just doing this and I'll bring you to the layer that is using that font. Now say we need to replace it all the way out. I say we want to do Arial Black instead of 20th Century Condensed Extra Bold. Mouthful right there. Uh, we can just hit the replace button and I replaced it here and and it replaced it here. Now, if you didn't mean to do this, no worries. The Control Z is just one click away and it undoes it in both locations. So it's a bulk undo. Um, that also applies to any of the others as well. So under styles and effects, I had to lump together um, layer styles and effects because layer styles and effects, they kind of share a similar kind of thing to it. And I just wanted to make sure that I could join them together. So say we have this outer glow. We wanted to go to the layer that had the outer glow. We'll go to this layer right here. So we have this layer, um, subpixel LLC. It's got the glow on it. You can see it's clear as day. Say we wanted to add a the effect shatter anywhere we saw that. Boom, we just put a shatter anywhere that was. And it did to each of the layers. This is probably not the best example of what we can do, but we have that uh, shatter effect in there now. Um, Maybe we want to do something a little more simple. We'll go to scatter and hit replace. And now we have scatter anywhere that is. Now scatter doesn't have any effect going on it, but all three of these layers are sharing that thing. So we can hit control Z and it just undoes everything that we just did. So there's no more effect of scatter or shatter. So nothing was permanent and that's pretty helpful and a very handy way to do it. The reason I chose to do it this way is if you had an effect, say it was like a, I don't know, a uh, keying one and they don't use the same key, but you've already done it. Well, you maybe need to rekey it in a different one that they are able to use, or you're using an effect that does a lightning bolt and they are like, oh, we don't have that effect. This is a great way to swap it out. You can match up your keyframes to each other and just replace that effect out pretty elegantly. Okay, so next one is expressions. This one doesn't have a bulk replace or do kind of thing, but it can help us find anywhere there's an expression. So maybe you had an expression that was, uh, you just didn't know where it was. You're like, oh, I gotta dig it. It's like several comps deep. Well, you can just go to that layer. Um, and this is the comp and these are the layers. Each of them work this exact same way. I don't know if I said this earlier, but these are the layers and this is the comp name comp name layer each of them mark the exact same way and we can tell it to go to that layer well now we also know where it is because it's the hidden text that tells us what has the expression on it and this is where the expression is so we're able to get a reference of where this expression is and be able to change it out all right now the next one is color and color is a very interesting one to me i'm gonna have to refresh here and we're going to choose this this is my orange if you've noticed i've kind of used it in a lot of the project um so i have this orange that's kind of just through everything say i needed to theme it to be i don't know i did pick a green last time but we'll do a blue this time we're going to say i need this to all be blue replace the color now if you look everywhere that was using that exact same hex code, it changed it out to that exact same blue. And if I didn't mean to do this, Control Z is just a pretty click, big, all right, pretty easy click away. Um, but say we did want to replace and we replaced it out. And under here, I don't, I know you couldn't see it, but there's actually an effect of a gradation changing between orange and white. It was able to go in here and change those keyframes from orange to blue. So 
it actually can go through and uh, update your keyframes as well. So nothing gets missed. That color is 100% replaced. It does not work on gradients, but it does work on anything that has a solid color. So this is a very powerful tool if you have like a team you're updating or a, a company that has like specific colors that they were like, oh, you got it close, but this wasn't the exact code. You can put in the hex code, type it in here, or use a color picker and pick out the color that you need. And you can get designing away a lot faster and be able to make quick changes. All right, and then the last tab is just the help and license. Uh, it's Utility Buddy. This is version 1.1 by me, Mark Mana. Um, and you can uh, click on the help and license and get to wherever you need to get to. And that will help you along your way. And remember, everything is undoable. So I hope this is helpful for you. And I hope that you're able to uh, use this in a way that just save you time. Yeah. All right. Well, take care. Bye.